in Handel's day, the, the vocal duets in the operas were, were the high point of the, of the piece. So many of these obbligato arias, it's an instrumental vocal duet anyway. So it's, it's vital that the two parties are talking to each other, musically speaking, yeah. And that's the, the raison d'etre of this disc, to show that the instrumentalists were so important to handle to the audiences as well. My instrument is a copy of um, an instrument made in France by Colin Ottater. And we know, in fact, that the oboists in Handel's orchestra also played on the originals of these instruments. I adore playing Handel on, on this oboe. It sings so well for, for Handel's writing and it blends so well with the strings and the trumpets. It's a real chameleon of an instrument and that's, you know, Handel's writing really does demand all of these different facets. I've got the opportunity to, to show off things that, that are in my particular skill set. Exactly, like a singer having different things in their toolkit, yes. which, which is why the audiences came to hear these singers and players in, yes. in Handel's time, yes. to compare them with last year's soloists and, and see what new tricks could be played. Handel, 99% of the time, makes it really like quite straightforward and... and, and um, fun for us because he writes in the right, right key and he knows the notes which are going to give like specific kind of sound or whatever. Um, so it's just always really great fun to play actually. Great fun and you make a huge contribution as well when, when you have these exposed solo lines. Yeah, yeah. I'm listening to you um, playing Pena Tirana mm. just now, I, I was struck by how uh, you and the oboe have lines that are completely independent of the voice. Oh yeah, yeah. So totally. you, are, you yeah. are producing your own arias in a way. Yeah. Hey,